going to ask you to pull down your mask for me, please. It's another step at check-in, but completely voluntary. How was it? Yeah, that's not fun. In Vancouver, passengers flying on WestJet can take a COVID test, both a swab and a spit version. It's part of a UBC study to check their accuracy. Yeah, it's great because I'm going to see my parents and they're older, but this is just kind of like next level uh, peace of mind. While Ellie Martinez feels safe flying to Winnipeg, many usual travelers are staying home. During the holidays, Vancouver Airport would typically get 100,000 passengers a day, but this year they're expecting 10 to 15 percent of that. With the vaccine still several months away for most Canadians, the aviation industry is looking at ways to help make people feel safe about flying again. The pilot project is one of a handful taking place across the country. In Calgary, nearly 15,000 travelers from abroad have taken part in a program which allows them to have a shorter quarantine period if they test negative. In Montreal, the airport launched on-site rapid testing for those traveling to France. They need to have the negative results, so for them to, to be able to do it in kind of a one-stop shop at the airport is very convenient. This week, WestJet and Air Canada resume flights to Hawaii because Canadians can skip the quarantine there if they pay a private lab like this one to take a test ahead of time. The demand has continually grown and when we sort of ramp forward, we think we're going to be able to probably be doing about 200 a day. All of the testing is part of an attempt to figure out air travel in a COVID world. Having an advanced screen for COVID, even with a vaccine, is going to be important. I'm free. Because if airports find tests that are reliable, it could go a long way in convincing people to start traveling again. Have a good flight. Thank you. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Vancouver.